Hello, I'm Aiden Tan, and I'm from Nanhua Primary School, Singapore. This is my first Robo Cup competition. Although I've dabbled in block race programs like Scratch, a summary of the preliminary challenge. My category is Coast Space Rescue. First steps under twelve, and my, the problem is to get the highest score within five minutes. My method is to develop the code, study the map, and develop a strategy. Then I will run the AI, observe the results, and improve the code. My result causes my score to go from below 400 to above 1,400. My conclusion is that I should observe and think how to improve, learn from other contestants and friends I can work together with, and break down the problem to smaller parts to start working on them. My analysis of the challenge mission is that it is to get the highest score within five minutes, and it can be broken down into two mini tasks. The first main task is movement, which involves rolling forward, avoiding walls, etc. The second task is to get attain a higher a high score, which involves picking up the objects, depositing them, and avoiding traps. Though I can get a decent score by do the mini task well, my algorithm can always be improved. This is a rough summary of my AI, AI algorithm. For movement, it will turn away when there's a wall nearby and go through the track when the car is empty. And to get to attain a high score, I made the robot move as fast as possible and pick up objects when detected and that's full. I also increased the robot's speed so that when it's full, it will, it will go faster and this allowed it to find the deposit area faster. For this map, my initial code made the robot hug the wall, but it was not effective as objects are not near the wall. So I created a diamond pattern that will happen after a while. So that robot will go through the double points area and deposit area along the way while avoiding obstacles. This allowed me to obtain a high score. But the resources I used are the previous year's presentations from past contestants, because that allowed me to learn from their strategies. This is especially useful as what I've learned is the basic controls. I realized that many techniques can be accomplished with this program and different techniques can be used too. Because of the past contestants' videos are online, I can watch the videos for free anytime and learn from them. This is a rough little chart of how, I impl how I impl implementation of the code. For moving around, I would make a check whether it had zero objects. If it did, it would check for a trap. Otherwise, it would just check for a wall. And then if there are none of either, both of them have, have there were no traps or walls, they will go move for they will move for and then and start the code. On the right is my flowchart for collecting objects. It will see whether the object detected. If it is, it will pick up. And then if it's full, it will go back. If it's full, it will go back to the start. I mean if it's no, if it's full, then it will increase speed and drive around until it finds deposit until it deposits it. I have a few problems that I faced while I was doing my challenge. One of them is that the robot could not pick up some items, so I reduced the speed of the robot and now it picks up items as shown in the picture. My second problem is that the robot dropped into the trap when loaded, possibly because I made it go too fast. So I reduced the speed of the robot in case there was too much momentum. After that, it wouldn't get stuck inside the place anymore. My third problem is that the robot kept blinking when there's not nothing to deposit or pick up. So I checked and changed the color conditions and now it doesn't do that. My fourth problem is that the robot kept going around in circles. So I made the front wall turning degree bigger so it wouldn't get stuck in the diamond shape shown in the picture. Lastly, my robot will get stuck in against the wall near the deposit as shown in the picture. So I made it reverse when hit the wall using the conditions of the ultrasonic sensors. After that, it wouldn't get stuck anymore. My conclusion is that I am happy with what I've accomplished, but I feel that I can do more of the program after looking from techniques used by other contestants from previous years. If I was asked to solve the same challenge again, I would like to try other techniques like RRGDBB or learn more about the functions like states. I've learned that the process is as important as the code and that my code may not work the first time, but through observing and changing the code, I can increase the efficiency of the code. Thus, I've gained patience. 
The most important thing I wish to share with other co space game players is not to give up even if starts the low score. This is a video of my code run at four times the speed. Thank you.